Hey everybody, it's Eric from the MMG. I'm going to show you how to set up a Valheim dedicated server. This is to host on a machine that you are not playing on. So this is, uh, if you're trying to host and play on the same machine, that's actually built into the game itself. When you just launch the game, you can host your own server and do it that way. This game is developed by Iron Gate AB and published by Coffee Stained Publishing. Excuse me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and follow button right now. Help me keep doing these videos. Uh, otherwise, I'm probably just going to quit doing it because this is pointless. But yeah, let's get to it right now. Valheim is a Viking survival game. And if you don't know, we're going to use Steam CMD to download the server. You can just Google Steam CMD. It'll be the first result right here. Click on that. We're also going to do Windows today. There is a Linux client, but I don't know Linux, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, then you want to click download right here to download Steam CMD. Then once that's downloaded, you need to ext extract it. If you already have Steam CMD on your computer, you can skip all this and just launch it right now, which is what you'll do after you extract the folder. You will be looking at a folder that only has Steam CMD on it. Go ahead and launch it. It's going to download some files and fill up your folder for you. That's normal. Once it's done, you're at a prompt just like this. You need to type in login space anonymous. Hit enter. It's going to connect you anonymously to the server. There, I did it. Okay, so when you get back to the prompt, you're good there. Now you need to type in app underscore update a space. And then the number for the dedicated server is 896660. And hit enter. And it's going to download the files for Valheim. Uh, depending on your connection speed, it could take a little bit. I think it was a little over a gigabyte for the server files. All right, and if you already have it downloaded, um, it's going to say it's app successfully updated just like mine is. Otherwise, it's going to download all the files for you. And once you're back to a prompt like this, you can just type exit. You now have the server files. That is also how you update the server. So whenever they release a new update, you just go through those steps again, and that will download the newest uh, server version for you. Uh, and then once you're done, go back to your folder with your Steam CMD. We're going to go into Steam Apps, Common, should have a folder this is Valheim dedicated server go in there this is the great thing they've done they have a really nice PDF in that explains how to run a server uh, if this video doesn't help you make sure you open this and go through all the steps here it may cover something that you missed or I missed and once you get here though you're about ready to go so if you see the start underscore headless underscore server dot bat you want to actually right click on it and go edit Okay, you want to make sure when you're editing your file here, your .bat, that you uh, leave the password in there. You have to have a password, um, and it has to be at least five characters, which it tells you right up here. And it also can't be in the server name. So you got to keep an eye on that. Uh, you also have to leave it as public one. So for right now, that may change here on future releases, but for right now, at the initial release, you have to have a password on your server. And you have to leave it as public one. And then once you have all your changes made, hit file, save. That'll save the file. Now we're ready to launch our game. So you want to run your start headless server bat. I also recommend you make a copy of it like I did right here. And save it just in case when you update the server files, if it overwrites it, you don't lose your personal settings. <clears throat> You're going to see it open two windows. Uh, this is your main window where it's going to load. It could take a long time. It depends on your server hardware. And if it's the first time you've started up this world, it's going to take extra long time. So just be patient and let it keep loading. I saw someone say it took up to 15 minutes. Mine only took a couple minutes. But again, it's going to vary. And don't forget, you need to open these ports on your firewall and your router both. And I'll put the ports down in the video description below that you need. Uh, you got to have them open, otherwise uh, people are not going to be able to connect to your server. And if this screen here closes, that means your server crashed for some reason. They don't have a great log system right now. I couldn't find a logs anywhere that were uh, relevant to my server crashing. But what my issue was is I was trying to do it without a password on the server, and it wasn't working. So you, like I said, as before, you have to have a password on your server. All right, this is what it looks like when your server is completely done. You're looking for uh, connections here. And, you know, you'll see it unload assets here at the very end as well. And then as long as you have your ports on your firewall and router open, you should be able to see your server and connect to it by the name. Um, I have seen some people have issues, so I think maybe the server browser 
Might be a little jacked up right now at the, at the time. Hopefully they'll have it fixed by the time you try to host your own server. So, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit that follow button. Uh, it drives me to keep making these videos and helping everybody out. Have yourself a great day.